Right, this is supposed to be the actual field or meadow where a lot, uh, large part of the battle took place. Very pretty, isn't it? All that blood in the soil probably enriched it. This isn't where Richard III lost his life. He was in a battle, and he, but he was in a battle here. But, uh, you know, he is, his was the Battle of Bosworth, I think, um, sometime after. There's a lot of deceit went on, people letting people down, changing sides. The War of the Roses. I mean, War of the Roses country in Tewkesbury Abbey. It's one of the oldest standing abbeys in the country. In fact, it goes back to 1080 something, I think, parts of it does. I've got on getting the history, well, you can get all the history online. I wouldn't mind just getting a souvenir of the declares, something to do with the declares, I think. That's why I haven't decided to not carry on with the whole of this battle route because it takes you right round on a massive walk. Uh, I didn't, I just wanted to come to the main sites. So, um, that would have to be a separate thing doing that. I haven't come prepared anyway, I didn't bring any food. I'd, I didn't think I'd be going on a walk. I brought some water. But I didn't even bring, oh yeah, I have got some sweets in my bag, it's true. The weather is turning out to be quite nice now. I don't mind doing this walk. No, I've got no, no objections to exploring any of this. <clears throat> There's a lot to see, like where the two rivers meet. Now, what one people said, oh, you've got to walk out of town to see where the two rivers. And somebody says, oh no, you can see them in town. They really are confused in this place. I've been given so many conflicting directions, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's called a wild goose chase, basically. And it is a circular walk. Someone else did point that out. They had a map sort of thing, but they didn't share it. You can probably get one from the museum. I probably could have downloaded one. I haven't got that facility with me on this trip. No, uh, no technology apart from just charging up the phones. These white bushes are really pretty. Um, I probably should know what they're called as well. Um, I should in theory know. Sometimes I don't recognise things with their flowers on. I can't think what it's called. This one. This white one and there's a pink one like it. Very, very pretty. I don't really know. Sometimes out in the open with natural fragrances, I'm okay. It's an artificial ones that do me, that aren't good for me. Right, end of this particular walk then, for today, over and out, this is Sheila at Tewkesbury, the site and meadow of the battle that took place in 1471, a very historic battle that changed the course of history and en nearly ended, almost ended the war, but it changed the course of the War of the Roses, put it that way, over and out.